There's a reason people are often moved to tears by solar eclipse. Seeing the moon eclipse the sun and the light dim around us is a profound experience. It reminds us all of our place in the galaxy, of the wonder and miracle of life on this beautiful planet. Space can be an incredible unifier. We all live beneath the same stars and the same moon, but we don't all see the same stars. And that's more than just a metaphor for how the environment shapes our access to opportunity. Around the world, our view of the sky is increasingly constrained by light pollution. As of 2016, more than 30% of the global population could no longer see the Milky Way. And for Americans, that number was 80%. But that isn't the whole story. That percentage masks a history of racial discrimination. You see, cosmic space may be a wondrous unifier, but on Earth, physical space has often been used to divide. I'm Dr. Lewis Andre Brownlee, and this is Space for Humans. In the U.S., light pollution is an example of inequity that disproportionately impacts communities of color. A 2020 study found that on average, people of color experience light pollution at twice the rate of white people, and that has far-reaching effects. Light pollution can make it harder to sleep at night, and sleep deprivation is a key factor in a number of health problems, from increased stress to a risk of cancer. What does that all mean? It actually is a lot harder to reach for the stars when you can't see them. To understand one of the roots of this inequity, we have to talk about redlining. Redlining is a practice of financial discrimination that has a history of targeting black Americans, making it harder for them to get bank loans needed to invest in real estate and ultimately build wealth. Redlining gets its name from the actual red lines that were drawn on maps around neighborhoods that were considered unworthy to lenders and investors. The historical lack of investment in neighborhoods of color affects more than just housing. It affects the quality of education and access to services and even fruits and vegetables. It affects where highways were constructed, increasing exposure to traffic noise. And research shows that red line neighborhoods experience increased rates of exposure to, you guessed it, light pollution. Redlining is not just a problem of the past. It's a problem right now. In 2023, a CNN investigative report found that Navy Federal Credit Union had a 75% acceptance rate of loan applications for white borrowers. But for black applicants, that acceptance rate was less than 50%. You may think that taking human bias out of the equation is the answer, but what happens when we let algorithms choose who gets approved for a bank loan? Well, let me introduce you to digital redlining, the same pattern of inequality, just a lot harder to identify inside the black box of technology. You see, the problem is history. Algorithms are trained to make decisions based on historical data, and history comes with biases. Those biases become patterns that are perpetuated as easily by machine learning as by human learning and maybe even easier. That's why critical and ethical reflection are so important to forward progress and upward progress too. Like you heard me say in a previous episode, we don't want redlining on the red planet, but we also want to dismantle it on the blue planet too. So how do we achieve those goals? By learning and understanding our history, by investing in communities of color, and by working to mitigate historical patterns of marginalization. Like NASA's Equity Action Plan, which includes millions in grants to historical black colleges and universities, and funding for research into the effects of climate change that disproportionately impact minority communities like increased air pollution. That's how we strive for a world in which everyone can see and reach for the stars. And hey, maybe someday future humans will look out at the night sky from another planet. And one of those twinkling lights they will see will be Earth. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Space for Humans.